There are many things that vie for our attention and take over our focus and lives, even if just for moments in time. It was not that long ago that everyone was watching the Olympics. If we could get past some of the horrific woke ceremony stuff, there were so many sports that we could actually watch. Archery is actually one of my favorite sports, and I'm always especially interested in the Paralympic Games in which Matt Stutzman, also known as the Armless Archer, competes and usually dominates. But those things can take up a lot of our time. Or maybe we're getting back into the swing of a new school year, especially if we just came off a more lazy, laid-back summer in which time was plentiful and rest and vacations abounded. Whether you're a parent or a student, you usually have to truly focus on the changes of time schedules, homework, extracurricular activities, and many other demands just to make this transition manageable. Or maybe you're an NFL fiend. If so, well, it's time to start pre-recording games, getting your fantasy team roster finished, or even selecting your favorite team swag. Then you have to organize time to watch the games. And yes, purchasing and cooking the right food for game time is a discipline in and of itself. The only blessing is that if you're a Vikings fan like April and myself, yes, I married into it, you usually can expect the season to fall apart by the first round of the playoffs so we can get back to focusing on other more normal day-to-day -day activities. Where am I going with all of this? Well, with all of these things clamoring for our focus and attention, it is important to remain disciplined in keeping the main thing the main thing. Philippians 3, 13 through 14 tells us, brethren, I do not count myself to have apprehended, but one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forward to those things which are ahead, I press toward the goal for the prize of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. There is one thing and one thing alone that should take the pole position when it comes to our discipline and focus, and that is pressing toward the goal for the prize of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. We cannot let that get lost during the seasons of change, as Jesus and His Lordship never changes, and He needs to be the priority and our focus needs to be fixed on Him as our prize. So I implore you, don't take your eye off the target of Jesus. And we have a whole host of things at r4h.com and getdebunk.org that can help us all remain focused and disciplined on the one thing or person that matters most, Jesus. This is Frank from Reasons for Hope. Aloha.